JD3 is going Falcon, actually. Classic matchup. Let's see. KD3 a little aggressive in the start. Ran in with a dash tack. I, I can't imagine that was on purpose. Looks like he did another dash tack. I think he's trying to up smash and doing dash tack. He got. He just keeps running off to there. You go. Catches him with the forward air. Can he take it to death? No, but he's gonna stay alive. Now see what KD3 didn't realize there. Uh, so he he he, he gets punished. Uh, an undeveloped meta in this game, which is, uh, this is why I don't like people talking about mods that might get rid of Whisk Wispy. There's, there's a, there's an unevolved meta that involves people can pretty much ledge cancel or win cancel rather anything on the left side of the, the exact edge of the left side. And then also the left side of the left platform when the wind is blowing and on the right side. You can pretty much win cancel anything on the right side of the right platform. But as you might know, you don't get pushed off of the right side. Um, uh, he just does. He just jumps before he does the up B. That, that's classic. Finio throws out that nair. Lasts for too long and uh, KD3 waits it out. It's probably be easy edge guard. No, yeah, he got it. He got it. Good land, and then down, down till he lands. It's always nice with Pika. Um, so yeah, the win can actually be advantageous. Uh, I know like Pikachu players don't really have to worry about it, you know, because they have like the greatest recovery. Uh, like Kirby doesn't have to worry about it too long. But for uh, for us uh, normal characters, you know, we we need some. We need all the help we can get in terms of recovery, and uh, sometimes uh. Sometimes Wispy helps that. Nice uh, edge guard there from KD3. Scaring me a little with those really high. He keeps jumping twice using his double jump. Good DI from Finio. That's the same like situation we saw. Basically just forcing him to go standard because he ha he's DIing so hard left. Oh, uh, it wasn't that Wispy doesn't affect Pika. Uh, it's, uh, Pika doesn't necessarily need those options for recovery because, uh, Pika can kind of, Pika can ledge cancel on, on any of the platforms up top if, if Pika does it right. Um, so, KD3 just took that game. Nice wind. Nice win, rather. So Phineas do a good, good, good job of like controlling the center stage. It looks like. If he gets pushed off at that angle, he's not ledge canceling. Pika can ledge cancel on the right side of the right platform. Like, even right now, if Pika were to land on the right side of the right platform and Wispy was blowing right, Pikachu would, would be blown off right. And there would be no lag from Pika's, uh... Well, early percent, uh... Forward smash, but, um, all right, so that was a crazy sequence of events. Uh, Finio botches the edge guard, uh, trying to go down with that nair. KD3 sneaks underneath it, actually turns the tables, but then kills himself, uh, while trying to. Reverse ledge DI, nice, but Finio's all over it. Nice, that's, that's, uh, that's pretty much true. Three gets that one hit, uh, that... Nice, nice. Early down air. I thought he was going to maybe do a up air, up B. 
because uh, he didn't really DI at all. He, he could have stayed alive there, I think. If he... Ooh, he did a full... He did his... Or maybe a stick hop. Like, his jump was too way too high there for that up air, that KD3. He kind of botched that combo. He really should have been able to take that grab to death. And look at the weird DI, but yeah, Finney will be able to react to that, certainly. Ooh, just barely escapes that uh, down air. Yeah, down tilts. Oh, nice little uh, runoff. Nice. That was a good, good comeback there by uh, Finio. Well, I mean, not a comeback, but he lost game one. It's a good answer. Alright, so KD3 loses one, and now we resort to the Pika Ditto, aka the new meta. So, chain grabs. Yep, I've seen a lot of people uh, chasing techs with uh, forward airs recently, just because you it pretty much guarantees uh, a hit at, at certain. Just because even if they do get pushed off and they manage to get the shield out in time, you know the, uh... <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I was like, I'm the wrong person to commentate a Pika Ditto. I mean, uh... I think I'm, uh, educated on the topic, though. Alright, so... So, Finio just did a back air after he did, after he did the one, uh... Or, sorry, he did a down air, rather. Um, what he could have done to continue the combo was a uh, fast fall, uh, reverse for or reverse up air rather, and uh, he would have been able to follow it up with something else. He actually ran to the ledge and tried to uh, like up smash, but KD3 was way too far left. Um, the up air would have would have made would have connected to that, I think. Nice little pivots. KD3 saying, "Come into my up tilt." There he is. All right, so yeah, up tilt at the ledge. Up to the ledge will lead to a death. Yeah, Finio has got to be. Yeah, you can see Finio fishing for a grab here. The uh, the up tilt at this percent looks like it's too high. Oh no, he'll be able to back air that. The first one. Um, so I guess if you up tilt when they're on the ground would have connected, uh, but if he was coming down from top, he had to go for the down B at first. Uh, KD3 got the uh, invisibility frames of the up B. Alright, so now KD3 is spacing with uh, up airs. Nope, now he's turning his back. Just a little early on that up tilt from KD3. Uh, Finio fishing for a uh, Nair that wasn't there. Missed up smash read. Uh, good reverse ledge DI on that. That forward smash definitely caught him a little off guard. But, I mean, he was able to... Uh, for forward smash, if you don't know, uh, the electric attacks are actually easier to DI just because they're... Uh, I forget what the, the word is. It's not necessarily hit stun. Um... But the attack frames are actually longer. You will notice that in like Pikachu's like forward air. All right, so probably safer option to go for the grab. I think KD3 after that one like low up tilt. What you can do is that not a lot of people do is uh, just run off nair, run off the side nair, and then you can probably nair again at least. The single up B actually gets him. It looks like. I don't know if that was on purpose or it's KD3 trying to get this back to two, two a piece. I don't know if this is best of three or best of. All right, good turnaround from KD3. Uh, really would have liked to see him shield stop more when when you gotta when you gotta make a decision. Um, so he was able to like do that slow turnaround in the middle and still and still get it, but. Uh, Misses the down B there. Um, but yeah, the, the shield stop will give you more options. 
Another single uppy from Finio, and then uses the up air to protect himself from getting up. Nice. Back to neutral. Just gets the back grab. I'd love to see. I'd love to see uh, a Pika, because you know Finio always does that uh, that up B to the right ledge. I'd love to see a Pika from the the top platform when he's getting back, just kind of waiting and getting the up B and sweet spot in the ledge for him, uh, so that he kills himself. That'd be cool. Might have to try it. I don't know how comfortable I am with that zip zap though. Oh, KD3 goes. I think he was trying to do an up air and gets right into the up tilt, and that'll be it. Yeah, yeah. You can't just. You need to put an ellipses afterwards. Alright, so KD3 had uh, the, the, the DI behind, which more effective, yet riskier if you don't get it. Nice DI, though, from Finneyes. Yeah, he should have just down air. Down air would have killed. Silly boy. Oh, misses the up B. KD3 really dropping some uh, combos here. Ooh, thought he was going to get reverse ledge DI there, yeah. Right, now I don't have any proof of this. I'm not sure if this is true, but I, I'd, I'd be willing to wager. I really think that mashing, or as if you're DIing basically while you're doing up B, will essentially extend your the length in which Falcon can attach or, or grab to them with with that uh, the dog hug. Um, there's been some times where I've like been DIing real crazy and and uh I end up like latching onto them from so far away. Uh Infinio kills himself. He's scared. Scared of that standard, but again I think I, I don't I don't recall correctly, but I think KD three might have just went for like double fair there, which if anyone has like heard me speak on this double fair is just not true. Finio's DI is actually been like saving him this game I feel like nice nice that second up air he like had to wait a little bit that's a thing I see with that players do a lot um, I mean myself included is they don't they'll have something that combos and they know that it combos like they're smart enough to know that this is going to combo but they go out and they and they do it actually too too fast or too early rather where they kind of have to just pause for a quick sec before you do that runoff and then you know that okay at, at this this is when I need the hitbox to come out no oh, nice um I guess forward air gets both gets the both double nair um I don't that just means that Finio just didn't DI hard enough really um not gonna give credit to K3 because Finio just didn't DI I don't approve a double fair. Oh wow, and KD3 gets it the other way. You might still pay for this. Yeah, after that fair, uh, he had some time to DI. He went for the ledge. I think he could even DI behind him and then maybe done the switch up and go back and go back to the uh, to the other one. Go back to the ledge rather. Nah, uh, yeah. Smart to not go for it. He's only got 35%. Just. Oh. All he had to do is up B. He might pay this stock. Yeah, he's got that. He's got that weird DI a bunch of times. It's not the reverse ledge DI that he wants, but I'm, that, it's keeping him alive. But I mean, it's just sitting there. Like, he's just sitting there. Just. Too easy. Oh, and the up air is not going to kill, but that saved his life for sure. He almost blew that real hard and <laughs> dash attack. All right, Finio, I can't believe how many 
like uppies where he's landing on the stage like he's getting away with like he hasn't really gotten any ledge cancels up top and he hasn't really even been hitting the ledge he's just been like doing single ones and landing on stage or even there he just lands on the platform and kd3 just doesn't seem to be punishing regardless kd3 way to bring that back and go to uh, we can see a game five because that would have been a sucky way to, uh you definitely had that for sure nice little runoff there just a surprise that's like a that's like a change up where he's kind of been given kd3 he's kind of been trying to get him in in the the uppy oh, forward smash nice di too uh he's been trying to get him in the uppy um but there he just goes out way earlier and just saying like surprise motherfucker yeah he could have he could have done a spike earlier uh, and I think it would have killed, but this will kill. No? Yeah. Ooh, he just needed... KD3 just needed to get a little lower. I mean, you see Alvin do this. I mean, Alvin didn't invent this. I'm not going to make it seem like it's his thing, but you see him do it almost every time against Pikachu, so he just... All he does is just run off jump up and do a down air and that, that kind of covers like throughout the whole duration he's kind of covering the entire ledge you see you'll see kd3 do that when edge guarding pikachu's too with like his down air although his doesn't spike so but that's that's that's, a, that's another big thing is for edge guarding is throwing out moves that have longer like durations and then stretching that duration over over a space in the game where you're not just necessarily throwing out an option you're throwing out an option and then moving that option uh across a certain distance to cover multiple uh angles hopefully i'm still making sense here i blacked out all right back to the game kitty three with a stock lead is he really gonna bring this out Nice back air. Finio looking like he has some trouble getting in. Good time, good timing to get up to that platform. KD3 was throwing out moves as quick as he could. And uh, he kind of picked the right spot in between to go land on the one platform. Maybe would have liked to see him uh, just shield rather than... Uh, oh, this is the last thought. I don't... That was a real early rage quit. That was like one of those weird percents. I don't. Was he gonna go for like an up air? Like I think he could have just di'd upwards and probably avoided the up B if he was doing an up air. I mean down air tech chase. You you don't know what's gonna happen, but maybe he was just pissed that it was that a three stock. Finio might be. Leaving, I don't know. Finio, would you like to have a post game interview or no? Dude, I feel like uh, I feel like you could have just di'd up on the, like that was an early rage quit. I mean, if you're done mentally, then you're done mentally, I guess. But, but I don't think that was a guaranteed death at the end.